My pleasure now to welcome Kyle Baxter, KB, KB and JB here on Humboldt State tonight. And uh, Kyle, of course, the freshman sensation last year. Couldn't get on. I appreciate you were able to find time out of your busy schedule to join us on Humboldt State tonight. Thanks for having me, JB. All right, sophomore uh, campaign here at Humboldt State. Uh, how different are things as a sophomore opposed to a freshman? Uh, you know, you kind of have more freedom as a fresh, uh, as a sophomore than as a freshman. Uh, you're not really worried about getting pulled out so quickly if you make that first mistake. Uh, you just kind of play play your game. And when last year you kind of was nervous about getting yanked so quick when we had so many other freshmen sitting on the bench ready to play and take your minutes. Talk about how did I mean freshman of the year? It's one thing to be a freshman player on a team that was littered with freshmen, Humboldt State last year, and then of course a conference that's got a ton of great freshmen. That had to feel good at the end of the year. You were named CC2A Freshman of the Year. Oh, it definitely felt good uh, to get recognition like that. But, you know, um, I'm just happy our team's winning. We had a great season last year, and hopefully it can continue this year. What was it like coming to Humboldt State? Why did you choose Humboldt State? Uh, when I actually came up with my recruiting trip, I think uh, they're playing San Francisco State. They had a few other uh, recruits up here. But, you know, with all the fans up here, and they just packed the place. It was in the East Gym, actually, when I came up. They were still playing in there. And uh, it was just an amazing feeling, and they kind of treat, uh, treated us like royalty, and all the fans were just interested in who we were, and I've never had so many people talk to me just on a recruiting trip. I mean, yeah, the fans are the best part of, of coming to Humboldt State, right? Um, most definitely. Most now, definitely. what other schools did you look at? When you were coming out of uh, El Camino High School down there in Sacramento, I'm going to go out on a limb and say you had uh, plenty of options. What were some of the other schools you were uh, looking at? Uh, you know, I had Cal Poly Slow looking at me, some, uh, some schools on the East Coast, another uh, D2 powerhouse, Metro State, that I talked to, but, you know, this place is definitely the right place for me. That, and I mean, it's sea level. You've got a little more oxygen than, you know, Metro State's out there in Denver. I mean, that's, that's a tough go there. <laughs> it is It is a tough go, and, you know, this place is a little bit closer to home, and uh, I just love it here. Are these, now, the ones you tripped on, are the fans here, is the experience? Obviously, you know, most kids, they think if they're going to have to go to a Pac-10 school, a, a Big West school, a big-time school if they want to enjoy playing in front of a pack house and, and rabbit fans where they're passionate. Uh, the other schools you looked at, do they have comparable uh, oh, there's places no like this? Even the D1s I went to, you know, there's, no, there's not that much fan support. And this place, I mean, Humble State's one of, a, one of a kind, definitely. And they win, and the fan support's great. So, so talk about making that decision and who's all involved. I mean, I imagine, let's be honest, there's ego involved. And all the kids want to be, oh, I got to go D1. They want to say they got to go D1. Now, I've watched enough basketball at this level to know. You know, uh, once you get out of the Pac-10 and some of the bigger stuff and the upper end D2, I mean, you guys are, I think, could be a 500 team at, uh, you know, parts of the Division One landscape. Talk about putting ego aside and actually making the best choice. Oh, well, man, I mean, my high school coach really helped me with that and because uh, he used to coach at UC Davis, and he just wanted to tell me, I want, you want to you, you go to a place where you can play, your team's going to win, and you're going to have success there. And so, I mean, as far as my dad, and my dad's the high school girls coach, and he just, he helped me complete with the whole thing. You want to go to a place where you can play and you can win, so that's all that matters. I mean, here's UC Davis, a school that, Division One. they don't want a piece of you guys. They won't even play you, right? No, I mean, UC Davis is scared to play us, and Chickens. I mean, I don't, I don't blame them <laughs> because we'd probably give them a tough game. Oh, a tough game, you know, you spank them, no doubt about that. All right, talk about sophomore campaign just as a player. I imagine last year, you show up on campus, you're going to college classes for the first time. I mean, it's a whole new world. You're not living with mom and dad anymore. Right. You got to fend for yourself. There's a lot going on. This year, your sophomore campaign, I imagine instead of, you know, eyes this wide, seeing what's going on, you're focused, you know the routine. So how can you be a better basketball player sophomore year compared to freshman year? Well, I mean, you just kind of have your priorities straight. Now, last year when you come in, you have classes every morning and you had to practice, and by that time you're just exhausted. Uh, this year you kind of have your class schedule set up correctly so you have time to get that nap in before practice and you can eat right. And uh, it's, you just kind of have your mindset straight. What's harder, making the adjustment from high school basketball to college basketball or living with mom and dad, attending school in high school, and then, of course, being a college student? What was harder? Uh, I'd say probably high school basketball to college basketball. It's a total change. Definitely. How so? Uh, the speed's different. The intensity's different. Uh, I mean, there's even three refs out there. There's, you, they see everything out there. Um, I mean, it's just bigger people out there on the court. I mean, I'm not used to, I'm, I'm 6'9", but I'm still not, definitely not the biggest guy out there. Do you feel pressure being the freshman of the year, you know, sophomore campaign, you've got a bullseye on your back? Uh, I definitely feel like I have to help help out the team more each each game because uh, we definitely need it. I mean, Zach and Brian, great, and we have great shooters around them, but uh, it, I definitely have to be there to help them. I mean, last year you were just some, you know, some skinny kid out there playing who nobody knew, and then you threw down a couple of donks and they took notice. This year, obviously, when the scouting report comes out, I mean, KB is circled. 
Uh, I mean, it's it's an honor to be even circled out there, but I'm just trying to win games. All right, talk about uh, you talked about, or I just asked you about pressure. What about the team last year? Zero expectations. Oh, everyone's gone. The seniors, freshmen. If they win a game, hey, that's fantastic. Obviously, you guys came out. You won a bunch of games, and then expectations this year, highest I can remember since probably 2006 when they hosted regionals. Talk about the pressure on, on the team and the coaching staff. Oh, I mean, night, night in, night out, they're the target on our back. I mean, as we've seen so far in the season, people are ready to play us. Uh, they're they're going to bring the best that they have, and we have to be ready night in, night out to, to give everything we have back because it's they're ready to play. Do you think at the beginning of the season when you guys got off to a little tougher start than people thought, were you guys at all maybe overconfident? Uh, I think a little overconfident because, I mean, we – Definitely have a lot to work on from what we've seen so far, but uh, we'll, we're going to come together. It's, I mean, it's a, still we're still building. So, we're all right, son of a coach, You're our next guest uh, played for your dad, of course. What's it like being being a son of a coach? Uh, I mean, you definitely you feel like you know the game just as much as your coaches, and I I I, I feel myself kind of looking at Coach Wood sometimes, like, are you, are you sure that's right? But oh. <laughs> <laughs> and would you ever question? Well, my dad, <laughs> coach says it's this. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't question him because Coach Wood's a great coach, and so I'm, and I love playing for him. So, he's and I imagine well. uh, there's got to be a, a special bond having a coach for a father, and then you know obviously coaches are such an important person, anyways. Oh, oh, of course. I mean, uh, my dad, my dad listens every game when he can when his team's not playing, and uh, I always give him a call for the game, and he's got t things to tell me. So it's it's great to have him there. That is outstanding. So you're coached on the court, and then uh, you know I can imagine you guys at Mazzotti's afterwards for pizza, and Dad's you know working on your rebounding skills. Oh yeah, definitely. Kyle, thank you so much. All right, there is KB with JB, Kyle Baxter, a sophomore campaign. We finally caught up with him. More, uh, well, I tell you what, one of his dad's former players next on Humble State Tonight. The equipment shop at Miller Farms in McKinleyville continues to lead the way in outdoor power equipment on the North Coast. They carry all the gear from Husqvarna chainsaws and tractors to still dependable chainsaws, trimmers, and blowers. Check out Miller Farms for the legendary snapper mowers that are built to last, or choose from a full line of exceptional Honda mowing machines. Be prepared for all seasons with a Honda generator. Whatever your power needs, the staff at Miller Farms Power Shop are there to help on Central Avenue, McKinleyville. It's time to get excited about your mattress because at Vern's Furniture, a great night's sleep has never been more comfortable or a better value. Vern's Furniture features Englander mattresses. From advanced coil systems to innovative foam technologies, Englander combines old world craftsmanship with eco-friendly materials to create the most durable, comfortable sleep system for the money. You'll want to tell everyone about the new mattress you got from Vern's Furniture. Vern's Furniture, 5th and G Streets, Eureka. Do you like authentic New York style pizza? Come down and enjoy Big Pete's Pizza in Arcata on the corner of 15th and G Street or our new Eureka location off the 101 on 5th and R Street. Big Pete's has 12 beers on tap, 10 big flat screen TVs and arcade games for the kids. Call us up for delivery anytime and let us bring you the finest pizza the North Coast has to offer. That's right, we deliver. Call us in Arcata at 826-1890 or in Eureka at 441-1151. All right, let's give away our first pizza in 2010. It's time now for Big Pete's Trivia. All right, I'm going to ask the question. You send your answer to JB at jbmathers.com. Someone will be picked, and they will win a free pizza pie. Pretty soon, we're going to have the Axeman for the Marching Lumberjacks on the show. Name the former Axeman who went on to become the athletic director right here at Humboldt State tonight. Again, free pizza for the winner, courtesy of Big Pete's Pizza.